Constance Benito, how great is it to be back for season two, especially to explore the relationship between both of your characters even more this season? Yes, it's Love it. said. we're so happy. Awesome. And that's the one thing I love about your characters because it reminds me so much of my mom and dad. Huh? So yes. welcoming, opening, everybody's welcome into their household. How important is that nowadays to show people that that there are people who are so welcoming and so open to everything in the world in the world it's crucial and, and one of the greatest compliments you can give is to say that person reminds me of somebody real mm -hmm. uh and and that's uh you know i have to say it's a compliment to the writing as well that means the writing is authentic yeah. and 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 for me i love playing this character because he is he stands on his own two feet he's not trying to change anybody else and he says okay great i'll meet you where you're at you want to come in and and you're a vegan great i'll 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 accommodate to that even though i have to learn what the hell that is uh, <laughs> or or you're still struggling to figure out where you want to live you know great i'll meet you where you're at come up come back home yeah. there is a wonderful wealth of people in our community that that are this comfortable within themselves and this open and receiving and and it's and i'm very proud to play this character who does that uh, i'm glad that you you uh can identify this person yeah. and and I think for me the, the same thing reflects because it also gets to show people that we exist there are latinx people who who are embracing and loving and supportive no matter what journey you're on. Our kid is our kid is our kid is our kid. The fact that he's gay, well, that's an extra layer that we love. Mm -hmm. you know, same thing with our niece who's uh, trans and um, or non-binary. And um, it, she's in an interracial relationship and we're good with that. You know, uh, it's just the, the foundation of this family is about support mm -hmm. and being there and being welcoming. And I think that that could be a model for some people in society today. And it can also, these characters can demystify some of the stereotypes that they're used to being fed, depending on what state you live in. And um, the fact that old people can be sexy as well. <laughs> it's just really, uh, the representation of it matters. And I think it makes a, a big difference. Mm -hmm. uh I don't have much time left, but I wanted to ask after last season ending in such a cliffhanger with it, with uh, the heart attack and this season really finding that new love between a new it's almost like a like you got a second chance. Mm -hmm. The characters got that second chance. How was it been to explore that and to really play off of that and build those connections even stronger? For yeah. me, it was fun. Yeah. I mean, it's a pleasure to work with Constance. We get, I mean, it was it was really a pleasure to do the difficult work of last season, the the complicated fighting and the the, the mystery and the therapy and the you know with sex dice and all that other stuff. But as the journey is so well written, to explore the fun of the second part is equally as fun, if not more joyful. It's terrifying as well because you know, we're in different physical situations that yeah, yeah. we're not used to. But the acting and, and sharing of the storytelling, you know, is just a, a joy to, to be a part of. And and I thank you, Constance. I, I want to make sure that I always say that to you because it's just it's, it would be a completely different experience without you. And you're just amazing. Oh, they're sweet. Same thing, Benito. I would not be doing these scenes as easily and and as comfortably and finding funny and intimacy like if it wasn't you. Like you're, we're, we're great together. He and I have great chemistry and the scenes as written, they can be titillating, but they're earned. Like Gloria does an amazing job with the writing to make sure everything is grounded in a reality and that nothing is gratuitous. Like, like you want to know this family. You want to be like this family. You want to go over to this family's house for Christmas or for, for a quinceanera or whatever it is we're doing. Come on over to the Diaz house because we're a loving, supportive, inclusive family, and that's what really matters. And that is going to help. I think it's an important show for that reason. Yes. Constance Benito, thank you so much for stopping with me. I really appreciate it. And I'm waiting for everybody to just watch season two because it's so good. Yes, oh, right on. Appreciate that, man. Season three. Yes. Season three has to come.